There is a species of fish destroying the marine ecosystem off our coast. This is it here. In fact, I spoke with two local divers who say we all need to pay attention to what's happening off our coast because it impacts the life cycle of fish like grouper, snapper and flounder. Lionfish may look docile and unassuming, but they are literally eating the fish off our coast. It's why this diver is catching as many as possible. As you can see during this dive, they're easy to find in our waters, feeding off fish swimming around this reef. I've been to places before where you see one or two, but then when we went to a wreck dive here and there were hundreds upon hundreds, then I knew, wow, we really have a problem. Renee Legero and Matt Myers are sounding the alarm about the invasive species that has multiplied out of control, specifically off Northeast Florida. Lionfish have 18 venomous spines that sting anything that touches them, making them hard to kill. They have no predators here. Nothing eats them. Nothing eats their eggs. And so they are able to reproduce at an alarming rate. Myers says one female lionfish can lay up to 30,000 eggs every four days. And just one lionfish has the lifespan of 30 years. A thousand lionfish can consume five million prey fish in a year. Meyer says he's already seen the consequences during dives off Jacksonville. And I can remember when I first started diving off Jacksonville a decade ago, every dive you would see grouper everywhere. And now if you saw one or two on a dive, that, that would be a lot. One adult lionfish can decimate up to 80% of the juvenile naturally occurring fish populations within five weeks. So that's one fish destroying all of those juvenile fish that we're counting on to grow up to be big fish like the grouper and snapper and flounder and all the species that we're used to seeing here offshore Jacksonville. Myers and Legero are now organizing the first of its kind Northeast Florida Lionfish Roundup this weekend. It's on Saturday, September 7th. Cash prizes starting at $1,500 are available for the divers who catch the most the biggest and the smallest lionfish. There will be other prizes as well. You can find a link to register inside this story on newsforjacks.com. The deadline is Friday at midnight. And stay with us because one of the tournament organizers, Renee Legera, who you just saw there, will join us at 8.15 with more details about the competition.